everyone, it's Martin again. Uh, I'm, today I'm continuing with the beginner's fly tying. And I'm going to stick with the midge or chrominid theme for the second fly as well. Um, and I'm just going to do the simple, simple blood one. It's very, very easy. Um, very few materials. But it does sort of help you sort of work on your proportion and you can sort of have a bit more practice of tying in some material. So you can tie this in a range of sizes, I'd say um, depending on where you are, from about a size 8 to 18, 20. Um, probably the most common will be like 12, 14, 16. So in the vise I've got a heavy grub hook. In this case I'm using a TMCO TMC2457. It's the shrimp and caddis pupa. Down eye. Uh, wide gate. 2x heavy wire. But you can use something like a Kamazan B110, a Filling Mill Super Grub, there's, there's a range. Any any heavy wire continuous bend hook is fine. So I've just started um I've just, I've just started some red thread. This is Danville's flat wax nylon. Um, this is 210 I'm using for a size 12 right, but you could use finer or heavier you might want to use finer if you're just starting out so you can get more thread wraps in and have a bit more room to manoeuvre and then for the breathers I'm just tying in a, a length of white floss So, to tie this in, I just simply take a, a loose loop of thread, I pinch it, and that catches it as I pull it tight, and I can slowly pull it back to the point where the waist piece will be completely covered by thread when I come back up the hook. Then I'm just going to run my thread down touch and, and touch and turns around the bend right round and then back up all the way up and touching turns just keep your thread turns together and you can go slowly just make sure it's nice and controlled and tidy everything up ok and I'm just going to put a slight taper in this By taking my thread turns back to about two thirds of the way around and then coming forward and then I'm going to simply come in with my whip finish tool And make a wee, a small neat head, five tons. There, yeah, that's plenty for this fly. You might need only four. Pull that nice and tight. The strong thread, the, the two ten threads, nice and strong. You can pull on it quite hard. And trim the waist nice and close. Now, I like I like to leave the floss tied in you know, and then I'll, I'll trim it when I come to tie my next fly if you're tying five or whatever you know you, it's, it means you don't lose your floss so and end up wasting loads so we'll just uh, come in 
and give this a first coat of varnish. Nail varnish is fine. Make sure you don't touch your the floss. You don't want to get any varnish in the floss. This is why I like nail polish. It's a bit thicker. Um, some of the head cements are, are, are they're really thin for good penetration, but it'll um, it might you know, seep up into your or seep down into your floss. And then to remove it from the vise, same as same as we did with the last fly. Any fully varnished fly, I always just put my bodkin into the eye of the hook, trap it against my finger, release the vise, and then you can take it away, stick it in a piece of foam, a drying wheel if you have one, and let it sit and dry. So, when you have uh, When the varnish is dry, I, I like to give it a couple of coats. I'll then come in and just trim this, trim the floss short. And that's just a sixteenth, uh, you know, on that, on the size twelve. It's very, very small, very short. And then I just tap it with my finger to sort of spread it, give that wee sort of impression of breathers. And there you have it. That's it. It's a very simple fly. It's really easy to tie catches a lot of fish you know so even even if you're just starting fly tying you know you can you can tie flies like this help you sort of get your sense of proportions and stuff and become a bit more comfortable having control of materials before you start trying to tie too complex but um You'll still catch fish in this, you'll catch loads of trout. Um, back, back in Scotland, this was an, a, an excellent pattern for me, um, especially during the cold, the winter. The rainbows just loved it. So, I hope you liked that, I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll leave some comments below, let me know what you want me to tie next. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more HD Flytime videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.